because the phoenix is rising out of the ashes and I believe that we're rising to um, be our motto. Like it says, we are disciplined, dedicated, motivated, and determined. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, ready? Up. Up, down. Hey! Okay, so good morning. Um, at this time, the director will come and bring remarks to you, and then we will carry on from there. It is fitting that you are taking your oath of office here in front of the doors of the facility where your service now begins. It is my hope that every day that you enter and exit these doors, you will carry the memory of this moment and all that it means. As you take your assigned posts in the next few days, do so with the full confidence that you are prepared and ready to do this job. necessary coursework and met the standards for the state requirements to be fully certified as correctional professionals. It is not an easy job nor a glamorous one, but it is worthy of respect. Ten seconds left! Ten seconds left! Sergeant Maxime, Corporal Stake, Corporal Caldwell, and Corporal Haynes, under the guidance of retired Major Gamble, have done an outstanding job, as they always do, in preparing you to assume your duties as a correctional officer. My name is Student Officer Hunt, um, class of 2020-1. Uh, this has been a good experience. A wild experience. I'm Student Officer Murphy, class of 2020-1. This experience so far has been very challenging. Uh, my name is uh, Robert Nicholas III. This has been a uh, fun 2020-1. This has been a fun experience. Uh, I loved every second of it. Um, we're pushing through. The physical part it's, makes you stronger, makes you a better person. Um, we learned a lot of discipline. Uh, we're just looking forward to graduation day. Rather embrace the challenge and the calling as an honor to serve. Wear your badges proudly as first responders on the front lines of justice. An essential employee is one whose job is so vital, so important, that others are dependent on it being done. It is a duty, not just a job. A responsibility, not just a paycheck. It requires full-on commitment and sometimes sacrifice. 
through rain, snow, or infectious disease, we expect to go to the hospital and find doctors and nurses available to assist us. That is the work of an essential employee. When we dial 911, we expect someone to always be available and responsive on the other end. That is the work of the essential employees. When people are locked up to await trial for alleged crimes or serve sentences after being convicted, our community expects the Department of Corrections to provide consistent care, custody, and control of those who are remanded to our custody. We, you, are now essential employees. Um, and now, um, which is the most important uh, part of why we're here today, is the oath of office that you will take. Please help me welcome the Honorable Mahasan El Amin as she delivers that oath of office to you. Class, attention! We are disciplined, dedicated, motivated, determined. 2020-1, Good morning, could you please raise your right hands? Repeat after me. I, I state your name. Nicole Murphy, Marcel Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful. That and, be faithful, and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to, the state of to the state of Maryland and support the Constitution and laws thereof. And that I will support the charter and laws of Prince George's County. And that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment, diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice, without partiality or prejudice execute the position of Correctional Officer for the Department of Corrections for Prince George's County according to the Constitution and laws of this state and the Charter and laws of Prince George's County. Congratulations. If I can leave you with one thing, it is this. You will get out of this job exactly what you put into it. Push yourself to learn the craft. Know that you are so much more than a jail guard. Read. Be hungry to learn. Seek opportunities to be exposed to different areas within the jail. Go back and finish your degree or get it started if you haven't done so. I see all of you as seeds of potential. There are opportunities to grow here seize them. I look forward to hearing what you and your budding careers will become. Congratulations on this first step. May you and your family all remain healthy. Thank you. Thank you.